Come here, I need you need you to say something with me. What am I saying? You gotta say, um, hello YouTube. On hello. three, okay. on three. <laughs> One, two, three. Hello, hello YouTube. YouTube. Another video with my wife. Here we go. Okay, I, I worked on a project. What <laughs> is it called? A Sterling engine. And what does it do? It moves. Oh, <laughs> and that's the extent. <laughs> Pregnant lady. Yeah. We are in the kitchen cooking. What are we cooking? Uh, broccoli and rice and salad and Italian herb chicken. Are you gonna eat some? Yes. Awesome. Hopefully it stays down. Yes. <laughs> Here's my cup of hot water. It's not hot yet. All right. These are my Sterling inches. Inches. A Sterling engines. Uh, right now, this one was my first one. It doesn't work very well. This is my second one, and I gave up on it. And then I tried to work on it some more, and actually got it to work. So I'll show you. This one's made out of a bunch of junk, uh, as you can see. It's got a uh, the displacer and the piston, the drive piston. Yeah, this one has way too much friction, and it just doesn't work very well. This one, on the other hand, does work. Alright. Hot water's almost done. It's almost done! Hey. Hot water's almost done! Okay, so I have a cup of boiling hot water. Ooh, boiled over. That's okay. So this is just plain hot water. As you can see, this is sealed on the bottom, sealed on top, sealed on the sides. There's no way to get air in, there's no way to get air out. It's a sealed contraption. Let's put it right here. It's almost too big. Now all I'm going to do is let it sit for just a second to get the bottom plate hot. And I can give it a little bit of nudge, and I'll start running. Wrong way. So there you go, with one little nudge, this thing's running on its own on hot water. <gasps> cool. I call it steam. No, it's not running on steam. <laughs> you little stinker, you know that. <laughs> Tricking everybody. Mm -hmm. This is a Sterling engine, as my wife said earlier. Now, what I like to do is get some ice, put it on top, and that keeps the top cool, which makes it run a little faster, maybe longer. But it finally actually seizes up because everything gets gets moisture on it and it quits running because it's relies on zero friction. Right now it has a lot of friction even though it looks like it don't. So there you go. It's running on a coffee cup. Okay, so my Sterling engine is built out of a bunch of junk. I'm going to explain to you what kind of junk. It's junk. Okay, here you go. This bottom plate and top plate is just a piece of aluminum. This plastic housing is actually a electrical tape. When you buy a new electrical tape, that's what it comes in. The styrofoam is the displacer. Uh, this uh, outer casing for this piston is actually a bushing 
like a brass bushing. Uh, the piston is actually the bottom of an ink pen, uh, epoxy, and a piece of plastic that I machined to fit inside of it. Uh, the rod, well, the connecting rods consist of hot glue on this one, as you can see. And this one has heat shrink, and I had to cut it because it was too thick when it shrunk. So I had to cut it, and it uh, made it less friction there because it's trying to push against the sides. Then you got rods. The rod coming out of the bottom is just a piece of uh, coat hanger or something like that. Uh, the two top is uh, the two top connecting rods are plastic uh, coated metal, a really stiff, stiff wire. Uh, I have them wrapped around a bearing so there's no friction there, or a little bitty friction. And then uh, everything's tied together with uh, some screws. Uh, the black thing you see there is just a chunk of aluminum with some holes in it. I used it to get uh, to get my angles right there, my offsets. Uh, the hub, center hub that this thing's running on, or all the weight is on, is a piece of aluminum tapped in the bottom and uh, the hard drive bearings out of the motor. Uh, the flywheel is uh, brass. I turned it down on the lathe. I think it was a bushing or something. Uh, the plexiglass is in the center there. Uh, it's on a plastic hub, which is just glued onto the shaft. And uh, as balancing weights, I have. Uh, I have what, kitty? What? <laughs> Got a dime, actually and a piece of hot glue. So there you go. That's what my Sterling engine is made out of. Bunch of junk. So it's still running. It runs for like a little while. I think the longest it ran was like 13 minutes. And then it got all moistured up and it actually I think it would have did it wanted to try to seize it and caused a lot of friction didn't want to work you can see the displacer going up and down there Piston. It's timed about, I think, 45 degrees off, or 90 degrees off. One, two, I think 90. What it does is the top plate's cold and the bottom plate's hot. And the air from the bottom goes up to the top, which cools it, which creates a vacuum, which pulls the piston down, and the flywheel carries it over to the next cycle, and that happens over and over and over. You can get a little engine like this to run. This is very easy to stop. One little bitty turn. You can actually watch it pick up speed. That's my little Sterling engine. Got this to work the day before 2010, about two hours before midnight. Had some time to work on it. Stayed up and did nothing. All right, nothing. You worked on puzzles. And nothing. I worked on this. Yeah, I worked on puzzles. It was fun. Mhm. Mm it was fun. Okay, tell me how it works. <laughs> What's a pad beret, honey? Um, I don't know. See, we're not into dancing. <laughs> we're into mechanics. Yeah, I'm not into mechanics. We're not into dancing. <laughs> love you. I love you, pregnant lady. Ready to pot. Two and a half weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. <laughs> So there you go. Uh, that's my Sterling engine that I gave up on and got it to work again. Yay! Ooh.